apparently has a new theory actually I think she's just trying to sell a book uh, dark matter and dinosaurs here's what this is saying I'm not gonna read the whole site or anything uh, here's here's the theory in a nutshell she's claiming that the earth went through as it goes through the galaxy, sometimes it contacts dark matter, which is this mysterious matter that they can't, the scientists have never seen and can't prove exists, but they swear it does because it's the only way they can explain, uh, explain some of their theories to us. So, they don't say what it's made of or anything. But this story is a variation on old what killed Dino's theory in reality. You see, the scientists claim that we evolved from small rodents who ran around in fear of the Dinos. And when the Dinos were wiped out, the rodent became, you know, a little monkey, and the monkey became a bigger monkey, and eventually it became us. That's what they think. That's what they say, which I reject, by the way. I reject unguided evolution in total because uh, if you look at, just looking at basic entomolo entomology, if you study how insects are and what their capabilities are, you realize that somebody had to program this various things into them. I have a few videos on that. Unguided evolution is just BS. It's utter nonsense. You can't tell these people that, though. Because they won't listen. There's more evidence out there that uh, than I can possibly even get to in the rest of my lifetime that shows that Unguided evolution is not possible. Not on this planet. Somebody's behind it. At any rate, what this person is saying, essentially, uh, our solar system went through a bunch of dark matter, and dark matter dislodged one or more objects from the Oort cloud, and then one or more objects, you know, we had the object slammed into the earth, it wiped out Dinos, and then we became what we are today, eventually. No. You see, I can't help but wonder, liberals are looking at an election, they're scared, and they are starting to get kooky, but this came out before that so I don't know this is a liberal she's rather kooky so let me get this straight we go through this dark matter that no one, no one can even prove exists and no one knows what it's made of and no one knows <clears throat> what it's uh, gravitational attraction properties would be there's a constant for that nobody knows any of that and they can't prove it exists but she's hypothesizing that we went through the black dark matter dislodged rock rock hits earth rock kills dinosaurs and humans evolve into uh, rodents evolve into humans and that's what the whole thing is about 
Paleontologists largely agree that about 66 million years ago, a giant nine-mile-long celestial body, like likely a comet, struck Earth. Impact wiped out 75% of species across the planet, including most of the dinosaurs. Current among the survivors were small primates. Now, they say primate, primates. I always heard it was rodents. But whatever. Over the next 66 million years, these primates diversified, grew larger, learned to walk on two legs, and developed larger brains. What eventually they used to invent pizza delivery. I think uh, this one is actually just trying to sell a book. That's what it looks like to me. This is a fairly kooky theory when you come right down to it. Dark Matter and Dinosaurs, Lisa Randall. It's right here. I reject completely unguided evolution. Notice I said unguided evolution. Why do I say unguided? Why do I specify that? Well, I could live with evolution if there was some talk of an, some being helping us along, advanced beings. I don't know what. I'm an agnostic. I might be able to live with it in that case. But just take a look at the flight characteristics of a bee sometime. Could we even do anything like that with our toys? The answer is no. And don't even get me started on spiders. They're a magnificent work of art. We tend to look down on them because we're so much bigger than they are, but they are absolutely magnificent. Far in advance of us, except they don't have technology and we do. So well, there you have it. You can take it or leave it. I prefer to leave it. I think she's probably just a kooky liberal who's trying to solve, boot, solve book. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.